Alrighty, hello everyone, this is Quietie. I am back with another video. Um, since it's Pride Month, I decided to try to do some LGBT games. So I went on the internet, and I tried to find more games about, honestly, trans people is what I gear for, so there you go. So this will be part two to a series I started a long time ago, and it's just, uh, let's play three transgender games. All these games have a trans theme, so, um, nope, lost my train of thought. Yeah, but I guess just trigger warnings, because some of these will probably have to do with things like, you know, dysphoria, suicide, depression. So if you have a problem with those, I guess just watch at your own risk, okay? All right, let's get into the first game. Hey everyone, this is a game called Clarity. Um, all these games I will put down below a link to so everyone can try them out. So if people can support them, that'd be wonderful. Um, that being said, all these were from the site Itch.io, I believe. Itch.io. Okay, so I guess let's get started. Okay, this one's Clarity, and it doesn't seem like there's any music, so if there's ever no music, I will probably put in my own copyright free music so that way there's at least some background sounds, okay? Okay, so you have a girl, she can jump, she can melee, she can backstep, she can guard. Okay, there's stamina bar. Guarding does stamina, backstep does about a little bit as well, okay? Uh, double tap left or right to run air dash. Oh, that's pretty. We have walk, we have dash, and there dash. Okay. Okay, so let's jump over here. Good, good. Jump. Nope. Didn't work. Nope. 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 I'm losing. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. Try this again. Nope. 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 Okay. Let me jump over here. Let me jump over here. Don't know what you are. You're gonna die. And... Okay, for a minute I didn't think I could jump that. That might help. Okay, got that one. And I'm going to try to do a lot more videos, especially if at least for Pride Month. I was going to do a whole bunch of transgender videos for, you know. It's just us. I feel like us trans people are not having a very good year, you know? So much legislation and other stuff passing and. There we go. Kill that one. We're going this way. Nope, 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 nope. Nailed it. Okay. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of things happening right now in the world. And whether it be, you know, trans athletes getting banned from, or at least getting ridiculed. I'm playing sports and Damn it. You know, Ben Shabibo saying things he shouldn't. Although I did see this really nice TikTok about Ben Shapiro saying wonderful things about the LGBT community. I assume was not sarcastic and taken out of context. It's just it's been it's been a year. And myself personally it's been a rough year too. I just seem to have more down days than good, you know? This game seems pretty neat. Um, a little simplicit. I actually think... I'm gonna double check. I think it actually did, uh... Yeah, yeah. 
I'll go ahead and beat it again because I believe it's just repeating and looping the level over and over. But we'll go through the end one more time. Just that way I'll kill everything this go around. Just in case there's something I missed. But yeah, it's just been a rough, rough last year for me or so. Just having a lot of really kind of down days. And is that... Okay, well I guess that's this one. Um, this was Clarity. Like I said, I found it all. It's not I'll lead description. Not descriptions. What am I looking for? Links to it in the down below. Into, into the down below. I'm just not here today, guys. I swear. I'm trying to do a video. I really am. But yeah, I will put it in the description down below. And now that I'm saying this, I am eyeing my pill I forgot to take today. And then my wife will get on to me for not taking my e-pills. So if you watch this, sweetie, I took it today, okay? I don't know what today is for you if you watch it. It's the 13th, but I did take it, okay? Okay. So that is it for Clarity, and we'll get on to the next video, okay? All right, everyone. This next one is called Coming Out. I really don't know a whole lot about some of these games, so I'm kind of going into them blind, okay? I'm trying to stay away from, for the most part, visual novels, because I know they're not that exciting to watch. It's just a bunch of reading. Um, okay, so start resources. It says a game by William Lynch. My avatar might be, you know, blocking it. So if you can even see that. Nope, I just checked my thing. And no, you cannot see it. Uh, wow, so let me see if I click that. <gasps> now you should be able to see it. See, a game by William Lynch. Adapted from the Coming Out Stars activity. I don't know what that means exactly. But we will play it. So here is Coming Out. Okay, there's a door. And I have a feeling some visual novels will still probably pop up here somehow. Uh, this game covers topics that might be upsetting to some audiences, include discussions of suicide. Please play at your own risk. Your mental and emotional health are a priority. At any point you feel unsafe to yourself or others, reach out to someone for support. National Suicide Present Prevention Hotline. So there you go. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining in this activity. Oh, click that. Okay. This short game is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Before we get started, I'd like to get to know you a bit better. Okay. What is your name? I will actually use my real name for this. Boop. Welcome, Chrissy. Thank you. Are you part of the LGBTQIA community? A family friend, an ally, or none of the above? Click next for options. Um, I'm believing as part of this as I can get. Of course, I have to have another member of the LGBT community here. We like to caution you that this game can be triggering for those in the community as we do cover sensitive topics and their struggles of coming out in an unwelcome situation. And my voice is getting kind of hoarse. I'm going to go take a drink. So if my character makes any weird mouth expressions, it's because I'm putting a bottle of milk tea up to my lips. That's better. So I wonder what that's going to look like in the video. Okay. Remember that you're important and your mental and emotional health should always be a priority. Okay. Thank you for taking your time to complete this activity and we would love to hear your feedback on your experience after you've completed the game. There's four different endings depending on the color you are assigned. Ooh, I want purple. The game will decide for you now. Oh, damn. It listened to me. Okay, I got the color purple. Thank you. Welcome to the coming out game. During the exercise, you'll get the most out of your experience by shutting out any distractions and letting the story guide you. Okay? So put on headphones, get comfortable, prepare to be honest and even vulnerable. Well, the story of my life lately. This activity draws some people out of their comfort zone, but that's what it's all about. So if you're nervous, you might just be in the right place. Okay? Let's begin. Imagine that the star represents your whole world. You're at the center of this world. Oh, so I am. In your life, you're surrounded by all the people and things that matter the most to you. The point of the stars signif signify important people and aspects of your life. Firstly, let's represent your best friend on your star. Enter the name of the person you can tell anything to who is not a family member. Uh, 
Um... I don't know. I never thought this would... I won't say my assistant manager named Matt, because I don't think they're looking for love interests, so I would not do my wife on this one. Even though technically my wife is my best friend, so I want to put that out there. Okay. Now you have your best friend right there by your side. Um, sure. Next, think of a specific family member that you trust and look up to for advice. This could be anyone in your family that you go to when you need help. I'll go my sister Kimberly, just because she's the only one in my family that knows about me being trans. Great job. We're getting to see a good look at your support group right now. Now think about a community to which you belong. This could be a social group, friends, a religious organization, a club you belong to, or another group of like-minded individuals. This community which you strongly attach to and feel a sense of connection and trust. Honestly, my YouTube. Okay. My text they sound like a great group. Eh, you'll get to know them later. Okay. Fourth, we need to know your favorite job. This could be your current career, a previous employer, or your dream job. <sighs> my dream job. We'll go with streamer. Honestly, this I have so many things I would love to do, and I I just can't pick my make up my mind on them. Really, the thing I would love would be just a uh, game developer. Okay, stars almost full. Okay, the last point is possibly the most important. Here's where you list your hopes and dreams. Aspiration, something on your bucket list, or any dream you have for the future. Um. Be me in real life. Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Most of it. The only one I'm having doubts about is, is, is this guy right here. He's, he's a nice guy, but he's just... I feel like he's a person I can never tell I'm trans to, you know? We're about to start the serious part of the game, so close out all other distractions and read along, okay? As someone already in the LGBTQIA plus community, you'll have to do much imagining. You won't have to do much imagining for this activity. For this game, you're going to go through the process of coming out publicly. Oh boy. Perhaps this is something you've already done in your own life, or something you considered. In this example, you decide that you can no longer stand being in the closet and living a lie. This hits me a bit harder than it probably should for a simple little game. All of my problems in life are related to this. Uh, maybe you fall in love for the first time and that person is your same gender. Or the anxiety of not being recognized as yourself has grown too painful to tolerate any longer. Well, you don't have half of it, sister. You know who you are and what you're not. And now you decide to come out letting others know the true you. You decide it'll be easiest to tell your best friend first. Your friend has always been there for you, and you feel like they should know your truth. If you have the color red, your friend has no problem with the news. In fact, they've suspected you weren't straight for a while. Okay, but I'm not. They're excited that you've gotten the courage to be your true self. They support you, accept who you are, and don't act any differently around you. If you have red, your friend is now your strongest ally. Okay. If you have purple or green, your friend is hesitant. That sounds more closer to the ballpark. They're a little confused about what your sexuality or gender identity means, and they struggle sometimes to make awkward assumptions or ask intrusive questions. Eventually, with time, they'll begin to understand and become an ally, but it will be a struggle for you. Best case scenario is probably that one. If you have color blue, you're met with anger and disgust. Your friend has always been by your side through good and bad, tells you that being anything except straight and cisgender is a sin if you're anything like that. Well, then kick him to the curb, bitch. Um, bleep out that word. Okay. Ah, this friend is no longer a part of your life. Well, 
With mixed responses from your best friend, you said that your family deserves to know. Turn to your closest family members first, so it'll be easier to come out and ask for their advice and support. Doesn't go exactly as you planned. Several questions are asked that you don't have all the answers to. The question, the question of validity, saying that you're just a tomboy girl or a boy in touch with his feminine side. Uh, you have a lot of clues to me being trans really in real life. I go around having pink scrunchies or, you know. I, I feel like until you tell someone you're trans, they'll never bring it up. They just might suspect and never say a word to you. After some lengthy discussions, this person will eventually come around and support you. You have to spend a long time educating them, and it will require a lot of patience. If you have the color red, your family member embraces you completely. Oh, don't think that's the case. They're proud of you and let you know that they love you and will always be there for you to help any way they can. Your family member even helps you raise money for any financial hurdles or transition costs. I don't see that happening. If you have blue or green, your family rejects the thought of being related to someone who's queer. Much like your friends, they're disgusted. Some people say they'll pray for you. Luckily, my family is not that religious, but I, I do I have a sister-in-law named Julia that's trans, and when they're not around her, they do make comments that kind of bug me. Um, you're thrown out of your house or disowned completely by this family member. By this point in your coming out process, the word is getting around that those who know about your sexual orientation or gender identity, okay? This information has also leaked into the community you identified earlier. If you have the colors purple or red, your community supports you in the path you are taking. Well, yeah, they better. I am a trans VTuber on YouTube, so they better su- Well, I mean, I do get some hate comments. But I just annoy people who I think are stupid. They're excited that you're- They're excited that what you're doing works- They're excited that you're doing what works best for you. And they've let you know that they'll help you along the way in any way they can. That sounds like my community. If you have the color green, you're met with mixed responses. Some people accept you, but some disagree with the path you're taking. You remain part of your community, but it will take a long period of time to be accepted. I believe it. Blue, your community reacts with hatred. You're told you no longer belong, and they spread rumors about you to others in the community. All the drama eventually affects the communities you use to associate with, and they've kicked you out of their group and refused to associate with you. The rumors still flying around about you coming out. You're not sure if you should confront these rumors because of the possible harmful impact. Especially after seeing how the rest of the people in your life have responded to your situation. Unfortunately, when it comes to your job, you don't have much of a choice. If you have read, your co-workers approach you and let you know that they've heard the rumors and they don't care about them. They still support you and glad to have you still on the team. Your bosses react the same way. If you have purple, your request becomes quite interesting. Everyone speaks in hushed tones as you walk by, and they all seem to think you're lesbian or gay, even if you haven't confirmed or denied the rumors. The lesbian part's true, but... And my job's one of those weird things that... A lot of them are, like, pro-pride. I just don't know how they would take to me. The only people that are considered my bosses are the people that own the building, because I'm a general manager, and I'm in charge of everyone. But I guess I still just worry about what they think of me. I don't know. I feel like the my bosses, the owners, they're they're pro LGBT, so I think they'd be okay with it. But it's probably just you know horrible thoughts in my head. Some people start avoiding you, but otherwise the environment hasn't changed too drastically. You still have your job at least. If you have blue or green, you continue to work as if nothing had changed. However, one day you will show up to work and your office has been packed up. Your boss calls you to tell you that you've been fired and to please remove yourself and your belongings from the building. Your career is over. Yeah. By this point, you've been out of the closet for quite some time. Everyone around you knows. The journey is different for everyone in the community, but this says my mouse is moving its cursor. There we go. This has been your, your journey so far. Now your future lies ahead of you. Your hopes and dreams, that might be all you have left. More milk tea. Yummy. Alright. Um, if you have the color purple, green, or red, your hopes and dreams are what keep you going. Oh, if anyone got blue, that'd be awful. They're getting the short end of the stick on everything. You get excited as you see the progress you've made, and you work with those around you to reach your goals. 
You have been met with some sort of rejection since the beginning of your journey. However, you managed to continue to live a happy and healthy life. You have the color purple, green, or red. Your personal hopes and dreams become a reality. I wish. I wish. If the color blue, you have fallen into despair. You've been met with rejection every step of the process while coming out. Your friends, family, and community have all turned their backs on you. You become depressed and without any other place to turn to. You turn to alcohol and drug abuse. Eventually, you feel your life is no longer worth living. With no hopes or future in sight, the pain becomes overwhelming. If you have the color blue, you're now part of the 40% of suicide victims who are LGBTQIA. Everyone's coming out process is, is unique, but this has been yours. Click next to complete the activity. Statistics are people with tears wiped away. Dr. Irving J. Selikoff? According to research by the CDC and Human Rights Campaign, 60% of LGBTQ youth report being so sad or hopeless they stop doing some of their usual activities. LGBTQIA plus young people are more than two times as likely to feel suicidal and over four times as likely to attempt suicide compared to hetero youth. The rates are particularly higher for those who are bisexual. One third of transgender youth have seriously considered suicide, with 20% have attempted suicide. According to surveys, 40% of transgender adults have attempted suicide, compared to only 5% of the U.S. population as a whole. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health found that 50% of LGBTQ adults had an alcohol or drug use disorder, compared to only 8% of hetero. A 2014 study found that LGBTQIA plus people who live in stigmatizing communities die on average 12 years earlier. The Journal of Child and Psychiatric Nursing found that LGBTQ youth with affirming families reported higher levels of self-esteem and overall health. Youth with less accepting families were more than three times as likely to consider an attempt suicide. Uh, I know. I know. Recent studies have found that the transgender children whose families affirm their gender identity were as psychologically healthy as their non-transgender peers. If you or someone you know has thought of hurting themselves, there's judgment-free help and support available 24 hours, 265 days. I think this means 365 days a year. It could be help found in the resources. Okay. Okay, well, that is it for this one. Um, I forgot what it what. I forgot what it's called. Oh, it's just literally called the coming out game. Okay, so this has been the coming out game. I will get one more probably game on this playthrough So yeah, we will see you in the next game, okay? okay hello everyone, this is the third and final game. This is denial Again, I'll have the a link to it in the description down below That's kind of creepy I believe, if I'm right, this game is from the female to male perspective. But I know there's probably some people that follow me that are, you know, female to male, so we'll go ahead and give this a shot. Am I underwater? Okay. So glass is broken. Hello. I sense you're grappling with some unresolved issues. Again. Maybe. Let me help. Who are you? What is this? Where am I? So many questions, and Supposed all of them are relevant. The exclamation marks. You seem to have a bit of an identity crisis. It has been going on for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Is this like the three ghosts of Christmas? I don't. I don't have any riches. I promise. I don't know what you're talking about. I never watched it. Wouldn't care to. It's about some old rich guy that. Never mind. What's the point of this? Well, somebody told me you've been revisiting some older memories of yours. I thought I would take a long this time to give you some a much needed perspective. Look on the wow. doggy. Who died and made you king? Well, you did. The day you lost sight of who you really are. 
I don't I don't know. There has to be something. I've waited another year and I still feel it. It can't be nothing. Ignore it. Human perception is so flawed. You should know. You googled it. But but there has to be something. Well, it's your funeral. What happened? Well, just turned my view like that. So I guess I need to go get the mirror shard? Happy birthday! Yay? <sighs> Great. Time to Here blow out we the go candles again. and make a wish, sweetie. I want to wake up as a boy tomorrow. Ah, look at you. Such a silly child. God, the things children think I wish things were that easy, sweetie. I really do. I remember do. just the year after you wished to be a dinosaur, didn't you? Such an active imagination. No, no, but this one felt different. I really meant it. Do we really need to look at the dinosaur wish together? Because you seem pretty determined then, too. No, I don't want to look at it. Why are you being so confrontational? You keep twisting. Wow, okay. I'm going to ignore this little temper tantrum of yours. I'm thinking make it Move on paint. to the friends now. Doll? Shoo! Go! Okay, here's a doll. Or I remember how much you loved it. You and the neighbor girls used to play with it for days. I, I don't know. This doesn't mean I'm a girl. Well, your brother never wanted to play with it, so... See? I like cars too. No, come on. Stop perpetuating the stereotype that only boys like cars. It's harmful. But but you just said... I mm -hmm. didn't say shit. Don't get so emotional. We're just looking at the facts You just here. did say shit. I heard you say that word. Anyway. Let's just stop this. You made such a mess with those. Paint everywhere. Your poor mother. Uh, what is that? Is that, a, is that a Wii remote or a TV remote? Or... Oh, that's Wii. I knew from the start that this console had no future. Oh, okay. That's adorable. Very squishy. <laughs> oh my god. I really had to sneeze. Oh, look at this. Crazy on Judy's present. Don't call her crazy. Well, if the shoe fits. Stop it. She's wonderful. Wonderfully insane, perhaps. I can't grab it. No, no. No need to interrupt again. She had no business giving That's you this present. That's a flashlight, present, confusing right? Confusing an impressionable child like you. She Why was is a the flashlight? She was the adult growing up. She just wants me to be happy. <sighs> That's she now. Last so maybe the check, flashlight she's just pushing symbolizes. She's pushing ideologies on anyone she can. Even a vulnerable child. No. You, you know, do like, not get to talk about her like this way. all of Christianity? Yeah, that's right. Where are we going now? <sighs> okay. I just finished the rest of my milk tea. do this from the like I said the the correct perspective they wouldn't be interested in the girly stuff even though I would be look at the dinosaur outfit what is this well someone clearly doesn't belong here you're supposed to be a princess that look like some rowdy boy playing pretend Could you do this? You embarrassed us in front of all these people. Wait until your dad hears about this. Can't you be normal just for once? This was important to me, but you don't that care about below. that, do you? It's all about Pick you. I don't even know why I bother. to wear? Okay. Look what this is doing to your mother. Do you really want her to go through so much pain all because of you? And the T-Rex of all things. Those are the most basic ones of them all. Well, I never wanted to go to those things in the first place. Oh, what is On this? A to the next one. Door? I'm getting tired of the what if game. <laughs> oh, I'm not. A downward spiral. How fitting. 
Um, I think I would no. make a great Someone ninja turtle. Someone needs to snap you out of okay. this foolishness. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Should I eat the best sandwich ever? Oh, this guy on TikTok. It's a weird little area for a plug. It's roll for sandwich. Oh my god, I love that guy. I think about doing random sandwiches sometimes because of him. Why does it feel weird when people call me a girl? Because you're not a girl? Same reason it feels weird when, you know, someone's called a gazebo or something. It just doesn't make much sense. I don't know why gazebo is the first thing I thought of, but it is. So we'll just stick with that. I'm scared of what my, present, my parents would think of me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Dead bird? Bro, what the heck? Chickens are so cute. Uh, they, they're a little cute. They're a little cute. I'll give you that one. My mom has chickens. Something just feels off. I feel so disconnected from my body. Something just doesn't feel right. My daughter is actually going through a lot of these. Yeah, in case people don't know, I have kids. So, you know. I think I would rather have been a guy. But I guess it's fine to be a woman. Yeah, but my, my daughter is gender fluid. So, she, she's kind of, I don't know. She hasn't told me anything concrete yet, so when that happens, I guess that's fine, but... She's not mine biologically, and her dad's kind of a douche, so... Um... Uh, I think it would make a great Ninja Turtle. I feel like we've already seen this. I don't want to lose them. I don't know. I'm kind of at the point in my life where I feel like the only way that I can ever be right or me is I have to move away and leave everyone I know behind, if that makes sense. Because I just don't feel... I just found out about dysphoria. I think I have that. Yeah. You and me both, brother. I'd rather be a cop for the rest of my life than have my parents hate me. Eh. Because I feel like I could never go through life telling everyone I know for the rest of my life. I'd rather start new and just, I don't know, it's weird. Whoa. What happened? I guess I'm going this way. I see it. The whole bunch of white space. Whoa, Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's the stairwell I was just on. I'll get you, Glass. I'll get you. Come on. Am I, am I making progress? I am. It's just very slowly. Come on. Am I making progress? I feel like it's the same stuff. I can't tell anymore. Am I? Am I making progress? I, I think I am. I think it's coming closer. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. For a while, it looks like it wasn't getting any bigger on my screen. Whoa. Black hole? Black hole? I couldn't back oh, away from it. for God's sake. This obsession has been going on for far, far too long. This is boring. Come on, let's do something different. What? What do you want to do? Play Tiddlywinks? Play chess? I'll beat your butt at chess. Oh, there you are. Okay. I thought I was waiting for some kind of pop-up thing to happen. My eh. god, this is all a joke. Look at this. 
You're literally brainwashing no, yourself. No and for one what? will ever take you seriously. They might play along with you out of politeness, but they see you for who you really uh, I'm are. There. Oh. Bam, got that one. You've told me before that you often worry about other people's perception of you. M mostly my parents. I don't want to lose them. Do you think it's worth suppressing yourself for people mm. who won't support you for who you are? I don't know. They're still my parents. You've been on quite a journey, haven't you? Picking up the pieces, trying to put them together. I'm proud of you. It just feels like I'm trapped in my own thoughts, and no matter what I decide, the outcome will be bad. It will be difficult at first for sure, but what do you think is the best for you in the long run? I don't want my parents to hate me. I know. I feel for you, guy. I feel for you. That's what I feel like about everyone in my family, too. You were really excited about that doll set, huh? Well, they are a wonderful tool for self-expression. What did you create with them? I played out stories with my friends. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the here and now. In the end, only you can decide how you want to live your life. What if I'm not sure? Well, you have your entire life to figure it out. You can try something out mm. today, and if it doesn't work for you in a week, you can change it. We humans are complex. There's a lot of fluidity to our identities throughout our lives, and that's okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, who do you want to be now? And then we get the big one. All right now, enough. Stop this now. It won't do you any good to entertain this delusion. You know, living in denial will just keep eating at you. It's your life. Don't live it for someone else. Don't listen. Oh, Think gosh. of your mother. What it would do to her, taking away her only daughter. Aren't you tired of performing every day? They will never forgive you. I will never forgive you. Don't oh, internalize other people's opinions if they're not your own. Stop! Mm. Think about this for a second. You know, living in denial. This is going just nowhere. It's you couldn't your even tell Stop it! It's enough! Oh, in denial. Uh, you could spell. Well done. Daniel, there you go. I knew it. I've had it with you and Anywhere everyone else. That. I'm done playing pretend, putting on a show. I've been drowning for most of my life, and all you've done is drag me further down. Fuck you. Fuck my parents and anyone else forcing me to perform to their liking. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Hmm. Mm, there's always a breaking point. I wonder the day sometimes when I'm gonna hit mine. Break out. Oh. Okay, and it just closes it just like that, so... Yeah. I guess that was denial. So yeah, that was three trans games. And I hope you enjoyed it. I will probably try to do some more this Pride Month. Because I actually find quite a few of them. Unfortunately, not really big game companies will, you know, pick up stories about trans people. But I find a lot of indie developers. I assume they're probably all trans themselves. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see everyone in the next video, okay? So until then, have a quiteful day. Bye everyone.